In this example, we'll determine how fast a car tire is spinning in revolutions per second if a car is driving 45 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the information that we're given. Your car tire has 14 inch rims with a tire thickness of 4 inches. So if the rim is 14 inches, that would be the diameter of this red circle. And the tire thickness is 4 inches, so the distance from here to here would be 4 inches. So the radius that we're concerned about in this problem would be from the center to the edge of the tire. If the diameter is 14, then the radius of the red circle is 7, and 7 plus 4 would give us a radius of 11 inches. Now it says if you drive 45 miles per hour, how fast is a tire spinning in revolutions per second? So right away we're going to have to convert hours into seconds, and we'll also have to convert miles into inches because our radius is in inches. So what we're going to do is determine how many inches per second you're traveling when you're traveling 45 miles per hour, and then we'll divide that by the distance traveled by one revolution of this tire. And one revolution would actually be the circumference of this outer circle. So let's go ahead and set this up. Let's first convert 45 miles per hour into inches per second. So 45 miles per one hour. We're going to multiply this by several unit fractions to do the conversions. Let's first convert miles into inches. And since we want miles to simplify out, we're going to put one mile in the denominator and 5,280 feet in the numerator. Notice how the units of miles will simplify out. So now we've converted miles to feet, and now we need to convert feet into miles. So we'll put one foot in the denominator and 12 inches in the numerator, and now the units of feet have simplified out. But now we still have hours and we need seconds, so we need some more unit fractions. We want to convert hours into minutes first, so we'll put one hour in the numerator and 60 minutes in the denominator. And again, the reason we're putting hours in the numerator is so that it simplifies with the hour here in the denominator. And now we need one more unit fraction. We need to convert minutes into seconds. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So what we've done now is converted 45 miles per hour into inches per second. So now we'll take all of this and divide by the distance traveled by one revolution of our tire, which is the circumference of the tire. So we'll divide all this by 2 times pi times 11 inches. And this will give us the revolutions per second. Let's go ahead and use our calculator for this. So we'll multiply all these fractions together and then divide by 2 pi times 11. So we'll go ahead and multiply across the numerator. That'll be 45 times 5,280 times 12. And we'll divide all of this by 60 times 60. So this tells us when you're traveling 45 miles per hour, you're also traveling 792 inches per second. And I'll divide this by 2 times pi times 11. And this will give us the number of revolutions per second. So it's roughly 11.46 revolutions per second when traveling 45 miles per hour.